this is the Mathematic video number, I have no idea, 13, 14, maybe 15. Um, we're going to check the number divisibility. So maybe the famous one is, for example, 562, no one is divisible by three because when you add these digits, five plus six plus one is 12. 12 is divisible by three. So this number itself is divisible by three. Some people, you might know this. So we're going to check every single number up to maybe 11. So let's start from two over here. If a number is divisible by two, it's quite simple, right? It doesn't really matter what number it is. The last number has to be an even number. Simple as, right? So the last digit is zero, two, four, six, eight. If the last digit is one of these numbers, the number itself is divisible by two, or we can say it's a multiple of two. Now, three, if a number is divisible of, by three or not, is you add all the digits. So let's try. So 7,640. Now this is 13, 7 plus 6 is 13, plus 4 is 17. So if I have another one, 8, 18 is a multiple of 3. So 7641 should be divisible, divisible by 3, right? Now, you add digits. And if it's a multiple of 3, The number itself is divisible by three. How about I quickly pause the video? You can just quickly make a number and a check. In this video, I am not going to go through too many proofs of these, but I'll quickly make another video after this so you can actually check how you can prove it. So, uh, number four. Now, four is quite simple. Four looks, multiple of four, however, looks like this, right? If it is, pretend this is a number, if I can divide the number by four means I have the same numbers in each box, I can divide the whole number by two, which is you can half it, halve it. And you can halve the half, so, if a number can go, if a number can be halved, then you can halve it again. That's divisible by four. Or 100, 700 is already divisible by four. Is it okay with that part? So 100 can be divided by 4, so 700 can be divided by 4. So I can check the last two numbers. If that's divisible by 4, that's divisible by, this number itself is divisible by 4. So 756 divided by 4, oops, let's try it again. 756 divided by 4. 56 is also divided by 4. So if you look at 56, if I can halve it, that's 28. You can halve that again. So that's simple, four. So last two digits, two digits, half, then half, possibly is the easiest way. Five, you may know that the, the last digit of the number needs to be five or zero. So last digit, should be zero or five. That is as simple as, right? Six. 
I know that's an even number. Multiple of six should be an even number, right? Now, also multiple of six, six is also divisible by three, right? So multiple of six looks like this. So multiple of six should be divisible by three, and also it should be an even number, right? That's multiple of six. So if a number is divisible by six, the number needs to be an even number. And also you should pass the multiple of three test. So let's give it a shot. How about six, one, four, I need another number. So seven plus four is 11. Plus one is 12. I can pass the three multiple of three or divisible by three test, but it's not even. So if I add another three, this should be divisible by six. So you need to pass the half multiple of two test or divisible by two test as well as three. So let's six, try six, one, four, four. Six, one, four, four divided by six is you can divide it. How about I quickly pause the video? Can you make a five digit number which is divisible by six? Seven is a bit tricky. So I'm going to leave seven here now. I'm going to move on to eight first. Eight. Now, here, eight looks like this. Eight looks like this. Right? It's... Multiple of eight, if a number of, is divisible by eight, you can halve it. You can halve that again. They can halve that again as well, so right? Now, which number should I pick? Remember the four, I could just check last two digits. How about eight? Now, 1,000, 1,000, oops, 1,000 is always divisible by eight, right? So I can ignore any numbers above 1,000 digit. So how about 100? 100 is not divisible by eight. So I have to check hundreds digits. So last three digits. So if you check last three digits, and if you can halve it, then halve it, then half again, that's multiple of eight. It's not as simple, but possibly that's the easiest way. So let's example. How about 124? Can I have it? Yes, I can. That's 62. Can I have that again? Yes, that's 31. Can I have that again? No, I cannot. So this is not divisible by 8. So let's try half. Half again. And I cannot half again. 126 this is not divisible by 8. So 128 is half of that is four sixty four. Half of that is thirty two. I can have that again. So I this is divisible by eight. Eight. Nine. Um if you have seen the previous mathematic video, I think that was number seven. Um I spoke about the divisible by divisibility of nine, so I'm going to put the link somewhere up here. You can have a look, but nine's quite simple. If, oops, if you add all the digits, and if it's a multiple of nine, it is a multiple of nine. So I have to check nine plus five plus four plus five plus three plus six plus two 
is 34. If I add two more, this is a multiple of nine. So nine, five, four, five, three, six, two, two divided by nine is, it's a divisible by nine. Now the trick can be checked, the link up here. So you have to add all digits. If it's a multiple of nine, this number is multiple of nine. Would you like to make it? How about we quickly pause this video? Can you make a random number that is divisible by nine? Are you ready for 10? 10 is quite simple, right? Any number multiple of 10, the last digit needs to be last digit. Must be zero. That's simple, as you know. 11. 11 is a good trick. So, for example, this is a multiple of 11. What you have to do is so this minus this plus this minus this plus this the minus last digit here. So you can imagine this number could be minus or negative number. If the number the if the answer is if it's zero, eleven, twenty-two, thirty-three. Or even minus 11, minus 22, the original number is a multiple of 11. So in this case, 1 take away 6 is minus 5, plus 0, minus 2 is minus 7, plus 4 is 3, minus 3, the minus 8 is minus 11. I'll quickly check. 1 minus 6 plus zero, minus two, plus four, minus eight. That's minus 11. So this number is a multiple of 11. One, six, zero, two, four, eight, divided by 11 is, this is a multiple of 11. So let's try to check another one, ready? How about I try the other way? So for example, I pick a number, multiply by 11, 717354. So 717354. So seven, take away one, is six plus three, seven is 13, minus three, is 10 plus 5 15 take away 4 is 11 this number is a multiple of 11 it's a neat trick now if you're not sure about the multiple um negative number what you can do is if you go 1 minus 5 1 minus 6 suddenly it's a negative number you can actually start from here and you start from 6, 6, take away 0 is 6, plus 2 is 8, minus 4 is 4, plus 8 is 12, and you come back and take away the last number, which is 11. You can check it that way as well. So 11 is now done. Now, 7 is the problem. Seven, there's a few different ways, but I think the simple one is this only works up to three digit numbers. So, a three digit number. How about I try 749? I know that's a divisible by, that's divisible by seven. What you can do is you draw a line between one's digit and tenth digit. And we take it 74 and you take away double the first digit or the last digit in the case. 
So 74 take away, 9 take, times 2 is 18, equals 56. If this is a multiple of 7, the original number is a multiple of 7. So let's try. 749 is divisible by 7. How about we try the different number? Uh, 7. 399. Right. I cut the number. 39. Take away. Double that is 18. That's 21. It's a multiple of 7. So this number itself is a multiple of 7. That's another interesting trick too, isn't it? Now, these, these are the tricks of checking the divisibility, divisibility of different numbers. I feel slightly incomplete, but this is neat. And I will make a, some of the um, proof videos which might um, entertain some high school kids, students. So, hope you enjoyed it.